My name is Samara. I am 31 years old, born and raised in Belgrade, Serbia. My native language is Serbia. I'm a professional hairdresser. I'm working only with the ladies. And my hobbies are Latin and Southern dances and Malay dances as well. Uh, I speak four and a half languages. I'm language and geography nerd and enthusiast. So, yeah. Hi, I'm Amina. I'm from Sarajevo, from Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'm 22 years old. Uh, I am a student, I have a bachelor's degree, I sing into choirs, I do sports, I speak five languages, so I'm very much excited to do this. Uh, hello, my name is Josip, I am 25 years old. I am living in Vienna, but I come from Croatia. So what I'm doing, I have also a YouTube channel, as also a YouTube stream for that, so please subscribe our YouTube channel, okay? And also, Give us a big like. <laughs> Great. So uh, what we have prepared for this video is very interesting. We have short sentences to start with that are going to be pretty simple and straightforward. However, they're all going to contain certain unique terms and slang or whatever you want to call them that will uh, make them you know, distinct from one another. So Tamar, you can go ahead and do your first Serbian sentence. Okay. So... Videla sam sjajne gilje, ali su koštale dve glave jura, neću ih kupiti. Did you understand me? I mean, I understood, uh, understood everything, but that one word. <laughs> gilje. Gilje. Ah, yeah. yeah, me too. Is it g-i-l-e? Mm, uh, g-i-l-e. Or in Latin script, uh, g-i-l-g-a-e. Uh, yeah. I mean, I saw those things, whatever they are, but they were uh, two euros. What did you say? Veglava euro. Veglava, uh huh. Ooh, Veglava. 200. 200, yeah. yeah. Euros. And euros. they weren't worth buying. Yeah. But I don't know what Gile is. <laughs> Gile. Um, Gile can refer to any footwear, shoes, sneakers. Oh. Okay. In general, footwear. Okay. So we have, a, um, I mean, I, I know in Serbian, they also, they also say like tipele. Tipele. Tipele or shoes. Yeah, nothing, shoes. Generally. Nothing special. Tipele patike or sports, mm -hmm. sportswear, sports footwear, like yeah. sneakers, trainers. But Gile is, I've never heard of that. It's like. Gile is point. all in general. Never mind. It mm -hmm. can be Nike. It can be either elegant shoe. It can be. Anything you want, just regular food, where not mm -hmm. papuche. Nisi mogao ni to akibeti napraviti. Can you repeat, please? Yeah, please. Nisi mogao ni to akibeti napraviti. Nisi mogao šta? Ni to akibeti napraviti. Akibeti me. Akibeti. Akibeti you. Čekaj da zapišem to stavljeno. So like you didn't make, at that moment it was cutting the voice. So can you repeat? Nisi mogao ni to akibetli napraviti. Akibetli je neke nešto, ne znam. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, sorry, I immediately started speaking our language. Uh, is it something like uh, to make up for something? He did do something bad and no, no, okay, sorry, no. It's like an apology? <laughs> no. Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, I can explain it, but uh, I don't know if you want to take more guesses. <laughs> Joseph, say something. Don't be a plant. <laughs> <laughs> No, I want also to ask you, it's, it's like makeup because I was also understand like that, but and so, what should so, I say? So basically, for uh, the last yeah. I was not uh, understand, the rest I was understand. Yeah, so basically in English, you could translate it, you couldn't even do that right. But in our language, it could be Nismo go nito kako treba. Ah, ah. <laughs> So, are you ready? <laughs> okay, 
Moje čača je otišao u trgovinu da kupi mliku i kruh za doručak. Ok, my dad went to the store to buy milk and bread for breakfast. Ok, can you re- I understood Can you repeat everything. from the beginning? Can you repeat from the beginning? It was you said cutting your voice. Right? Yes. My dad and I went to the yes. store to buy uh, bread and milk for the breakfast. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> difference is uh, kruh versus hleb which is bread mm-hmm. and yes. mleko they say mlieko we usually mleko. we don't okay. use that much letter j in words it's called ekavica yes. and yekavica so that is difference between our dialects i cannot even call it languages because it's the same that is the perhaps the only difference for now <laughs> <laughs> and uh and what about in bosnian it's it's pretty much the same right it's pretty much the same as tamaras uh, we have like two very common words uh do you notice i mean yes. did you notice that we put uh, a plural with that me and dad he said only dad was alone <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of logical yes. i don't know <laughs> Never mind, but it, it was so logical to me as well. <laughs> so, uh, like, the difference, I would say, with Josip and Tamara and I, is, like, Josip uses uh, kruh for hleb, uh, for bread, and Tamara uses the uh, ekavica hleb, and we in Bosnian use the iekavica dialect, yeah. And also the same for mlieko, for mlieko. Yeah. For mlieko, ekavica. What I also... What I also realized in Serbian and Bosnian language, in Bosnian, just correct me, Amina, if I say wrong, uh, in Bosnian father, they also call Babo what I know, because it he depends. in Vienna is... It depends. I personally call my dad Tata. Okay. It <laughs> so in Serbian, I was uh, listening in Vienna, so from Serbia, I also call that like uh, Chale. So. Jale is uh, a yeah. slang for Tata, but I think it's derived from Chacha. Yeah. So, we so also sometimes I think do it's that connected. Chale in like Just a little bit different. Way, yeah. In like a humorous way. We also can say like Stari. Like the, uh, <laughs> we, we, say, we, say mat- <laughs> we say Maturi. So yeah, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this one is interesting. Get ready, guys. Ljudi koji čekaju su dosadni. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, and you one more time repeat. You're going, you're going to laugh when you find out why I meant to say. Ljudi koji cirkaju su dosadni. Ljudi koji cirkaju su dosadni. It's like yeah. cirkaju there is a part I know but I don't know how to say that in English. This like, is something this is something you would typically not hear from someone from the Balkans. Pio. <laughs> How are they boring? <laughs> da. They're boring. They're bothering people and they're like, ah, sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. I've never heard of that. I honestly. Really? Really. I'm I thought I'm it was kind of young. <laughs> So tikati in Serbian slang means piti. Never mind whether alcoholic or non-alcoholic beverages, but yeah, it means piti. Uh, it means <laughs> to drink. I mean, we would say piti also, like for drink, to drink, but we also say tugati. So I think yes. that's like similar. We also tugati, use the tugati. same word. Yeah. Aštara se vidi da si can you repeat? <laughs> yeah. Aštara se vidi da si dijanče. Okay. <laughs> uh. I only understood se vidi da si. 
uh, I use the first word like so often, a shot. So I don't know, I thought I put it in there. <laughs> Does it mean like it's the like a or from the uh, distance? And no, it's not like in that too ob something that is too obvious, actually. I mean, exactly. Yes. Ashtar is the Zianche. Zianche is something like Zamlat, <laughs> full. <laughs> uh, no, Zianche. Zian is like a Zian is problem in a way. Like a uh, uh, rebel, I mean, troublemaker. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you get it? Yes, yes, yes. I tried. I was, to... I was not, I was not sure okay. it's that like troublemaker, but I was still thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I started with the end. Okay. So, svi ljudi kažu da je moja sestra mlada i bela. Lepa. This is interesting. Beautiful. Young, your sister is young and beautiful, right? So, like a small and beautiful, like that. Okay. But younger, it's yeah, it's okay, but but more like a small. Uh -huh. yeah. But Bella is uh, from Italian, long word, Bella, yeah. right? Bella. Yes. So, like this, uh, when we say Bella, then it's mean Lepotica. Or Lepotan. Like the beauty. Yeah. Okay. The difference is here, I was, like. I was, confused. I was thrown off uh, when you first sent, uh, said the sentence and you said Bela. And I was like, Biela. <laughs> <laughs> how does that How does that work? So, yeah, <laughs> I got it. Uh, I didn't I didn't know this because I used the word Bela for white. I mean, <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> But I know I was also from <laughs> I was I was also from beginning confused when I was learning about it. So uh, Bella is beautiful. There's something so wrong. <laughs> I was thinking I, I like assume, that, but I assume that Bella is beautiful in creation, right? I mean maybe Dalmatian probably yes. right. Dalmatian, yes. Yes, yes. Because I bet that there are no not that much long words from Italian for, in the north of Croatia, right? In, for example, yes, Zagreb, yes. Mosia, Pukovar, yeah, right. I've spent a lot of my time in Dalmatia region, and I've learned some of words I I, I never I never heard of them before. For instance, oh, I was like, "What is that?" And then they explained to me that it's a towel, it's peshki, and I was shocked. Like shugaman, how does that work? Yeah. <laughs> I, I really understand you. I mean, <laughs> even that time when I was uh, first time listening, I was like, this, "What you wanna? You wanna? What you wanna?" From me? I was thinking like that. Danas je bio najtopli dan ove godine. Kako su vrućine u gradu nepodnošljive, otišla sam da provedem dan na jezeru sa prijateljima. Super smo se proveli, čak smo fotografisali zalazak sunca. I understood everything. Yes, you did because I didn't use slang. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I, Danas I need to remember. Night topli... Danas je bio godine. Danas okay. je bio godine. Today was a uh, hot day. The hottest day. Hot the hottest day. Hottest day, yeah. Of this year. Kako su vrućine u gradu nepodnošljive, otišla sam da provedem dan na jezero sa prijateljima. Kako su vrućine u gradu nepodnošljiva, očela sam da provedim dan s prijateljima na jezeru. Or we can also say stoga. Zbog we, don't depend, we don't depend on the word yeah. orders. So yeah. yeah. Kudos to grammatical <laughs> cases. <laughs> Super smo se proveli, čak smo i fotografisali zalazak sunca. Super smo se proveli, čak smo i likali zalazak sunca. So, well, like, photograph, we was enjoying. Photograph is like more correct because you're using a camera, photo camera, to take a picture. But slikati is like painting, I guess, in a way. But yeah. But we use slikati for everything. So you yeah. can either take a picture or take a <laughs> painting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or do a tattoo. I mean. <laughs> so I have this book 
called Jastanali Pshistadalinki, which translates to 200 Most Beautiful Sadalinka. And Sadalinka is a traditional Bosnian song. Uh, yeah, it, they're all about love in a way. It doesn't necessarily have to be a love between two people. It can be a love towards your country or your city. Never mind. Uh, so it's that type of song. And I took, uh, I, I mean, I, there's a few words, very uh, old words, kind of used still, but not as much. Uh, but rest, I think, would be pretty much recognizable to you. So let's do this. Okay, so. Lijepa Zejna po Bostonu šeće, po Bostonu i po Džulstanu. Majka Zejnu na večeru zvala. Hajde Zejno s majkom večere. Večerajte mene i nečekajte. Nije meni do naše večere. Veće mene do mojega jada. Sinoć mi je dragi dolazio. Čudan mi je zulom učinio. Po baš će mi zumbu upotitao. Kun ga majko i ja ću ga hleti. Stani majko i ja ću započeti. Kud hodio, meni dohodio. Dohodio i zumbu ulomio. Odhodio, srca odnosio, odnosio, meni prkosio. Tamnica mu moja njedra bila, sinđir halke, moje bijeli ruke. So, I mean, that's just... I uh, understood I everything. Everything. Good. Everything. Even Zulum, even Julstan, even Bostan. Everything. <laughs> Great. Okay. Also, also understand the Bostan and uh, Večera, like for dinner. So, if I... Yeah. It's very really clear, and so. Uh, but the rest, I was not listening clearly about it. It was a little bit cutting. So I like underlined a couple of words that I thought maybe would be different. Uh, yeah. So one of them is Boston. So Boston, uh, yes. Yeah, it's Watermelon. basically like Watermelon, a garden. Yeah. It's a garden. Oh, really? Because yeah, in the garden. Is a Serbia, Boston is only the watermelon. Yes. Uh, Jul Boston, Julstan is garden, like Jul Boston. Jul yeah, called, it's like a rose garden. A Boston is like a small, in front of the house garden. Ah, uh, called Dvorish. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, a Julistan is like a, a rose garden. Uh, Zulun? is like evil right. yeah something so like evil something faulty done to you uh the next one is sinjir sinjir is like uh i've heard multiple translations of it uh it can be like a chain or metal or it can be silver so yeah sinjir how okay. silver chain yeah chain yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So Sinjir Hulk is like a metal, silver, like, hoops. <laughs> that's the song, Sevdalinka. Sevdalinka, though. Yeah. I need, to tell one, I need to tell one uh, fun story. So, uh, I mean, I need really to thank you so much for, for uh, how to say that is Bosnian is garden. It's mean like garden house in Bosnia because my auntie is living in Bosnia. So in, Bosnia Herzegovina, she's always said, Can you go into the Boston? I said, What? <laughs> How can I go into the Boston? Boston is like free. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> ah, yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> now it makes sense. <laughs> I like her a lot. Ja sam vozio bicicleta na polje za prijateljem. Dok nisam još pošao, primijetio sam lagano da sam trebao očistiti finestru u kuinu. Onda sam vozio nazad u kući i čistio sam finištu u kujnu. To je finištra. Ja, ja, finištra. Fin... So, should I repeat? Like, no, you don't have to repeat. What is the finištra? <laughs> finištra, it's really funny, in the words, it's windows. Really? So, okay. so I rode a bike. Yes. Yes. And you clearly the were, were not alone. Okay. So, uh, so the rest is like, dok nisam još pošao, primijetio sam lagano da sam trebao očistiti fineštru u kujnu. Onda sam vozio nazad u kući i čistio sam fineštru u kujnu. 
Uh, while you were driving home, you were cleaning the window in your kitchen. I don't get it. Yes. Yeah. Clean the kitchen. Yes, we so use the same word. Yeah. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> but I know in Croatia they use uh, more like uh, kuhina, the words. So like normal okay, words, kuhina. Kuhina is the but... word from literature, right? So, I mean, yes. Standard yeah. one. We use Queen as well. I mean, but but it is a slang in Serbia. Well, like short and very The H is very often the letter H. For instance, for example, just a minute ago, I said Halke, and I know you would say Alke. Without H, yes. Yeah, without H. You call it Halke. Da. It sounds yeah. like Hanta <laughs> Paldum. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We use letter H, yeah. For example, just now, cuina, cuina. We uh, say cuina as well with H, yeah, yeah. but yeah. in a slang. No, but in a, in slang, it's cuina. In yeah. in standard word for kitchen in Serbian is cuina. Cuina, yeah. Cuina. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, one. So, um, Interesting word, and I, I'm curious to know if this is used in, in all three languages, is uh, how do you say like a, like liver that you eat? You know what I mean? Do you say jigeritsa? Jigeritsa. Jigeritsa. Yeah. Uh, the liver. Yeah. yeah. But, but not human liver. It's not, yeah, animal exactly. liver. Yeah. It, it comes from Turkish, actually. It's uh, jigeritsa. Turkish, well, again, that, that's yeah. also a Persian word that yeah, went yeah. to Turkish, right? Okay. So, it's so, okay. so the interesting part is like yeah. the, the original, like the Persian word for which is jigar is used for like the human liver, but it's also used as a form of like, uh, you know, when you say it to someone you love, you know, you say uh, you're same in Turkish, you would say like, I don't know, you, you can say to your loved one, kalbim, mm -hmm. like my heart. Uh, but yeah. you can also get him like my liver, but it would mean yeah. like my yeah. heart, my soul, in a way. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because you cannot live without your liver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And and I think it just it just sounds funny if you say that because like you would only use it for the food or like what you eat, right? So I would never say to anybody get from my obviously. <laughs> Uh, we can use uh, in um, a slang. I have heard it multiple times. Uh, when somebody goes on your nerves, when somebody pisses you off. Uh, you ate my liver. liver. <laughs> I personally love this. Uh, so I love meeting these two great people. And I mean, we speak the same language, so why not share, uh, like, for educational purposes? I never heard of Gilia. Now I know what Gilia is. So, I mean, it's fun. We're all just <laughs> having fun, and we're learning. So yeah, I love cool. languages. So of course. Absolutely. I mean, that's the main reason for me, personally, to meet new people and to exchange my mother tongue. That's awesome. Exactly. Exactly. And, and, you know, even, even within like one country, one language, there's always like different regions and different dialects and different accents exactly. and people somehow start to feel disconnected, but they feel closer connected when they start learning these things about each other, which is, which is very interesting. Uh, what I'm all of is like, uh, we, we understand more for cultural language from different uh, country. This is what they more love. Uh, the most people is thinking like this, uh, this is only one language, but in real, it's like more in background. So like Dalmatia or whole, you understand Serbia language, it's the same, but some words is different and also like Bosnia. And this is what's making me really interesting about it to, to know about it. So like that uh, for future, like example, I'm traveling to Serbia, no matter some place, and then somebody talking to me in Serbia and I know I understand what he is mean about it for some words what's different. It's why what I really love it so much. Oh, I have fun when I uh, meet somebody from Balkans 
and I can understand them and we can speak in our native language. And I mean, you all know, we have our jokes and our curse words and everything. And you cannot <laughs> translate that. You cannot translate that into English. <laughs> well, not the yeah. translate. People are like, you guys are crazy. I've, I've tried that. I've tried that with uh, yeah. people from <laughs> Holland, from the Netherlands, pardon. So I've tried to translate that and they were like, what? <laughs> and you just cannot, cannot explain that. I wanted to say you, Bardot, are pretty much brave, uh, daring to touch this topic because nobody else tried. We are super friendly towards each other, so I don't think that we will attract any negativity. Of course, no, definitely. But, you know, you have to keep in mind, this is still YouTube and these are videos that get watched by thousands and thousands of people. So you end up getting that, right? And I've done many videos between people who have historical conflicts or, or some of them are just like contemporary, like modern day conflicts. And uh, yeah, for the most part, it's been very positive, the, the feedback that you receive, because we're just, you know, we're, we're having fun. We're having a good time. We're doing something positive. Yes. You know, yeah. and, and For if example, somebody wants to come and create, you know, be negative, you know, whatever, that's their problem. Three of us come from a positive point of view and mm -hmm. none of us uh, are like into that. Yeah. Yeah. So, Especially we think we were like lucky that, enough so. to avoid war. So nobody from my family was involved into any kind of war. Okay. Uh, luckily, Amina was too young to witness all the horror stories from Bosnia and Herzegovina in 1990s. Josip, I also assume that you are young. And yes. you were young enough to avoid war that happened in Croatia. So yeah. we have no reason to hate each other. It's not our fault that yeah. other people wanted to... Plus, I, come, I was born and raised in Sarajevo, which is like the little Jerusalem. So I grew up with everybody. My best friend is Dara Laza. So why should I hate her? Mm -hmm. I mean. <laughs> yeah. No, I, and honestly, I, I want, I, that's why I want to thank you again for being a part of this because it's very important. It's important. Um, I don't just mean for people in the Balkans because the world knows about these conflicts and wars and stuff, right? And it's, it's very important for them to see it as well, to see that people don't, hate each other, people, you know, on just ordinary, regular human beings. They get along, they're friends, they're they're even yes. family, right? So so it's it's really, really a nice way to come together and connect. So I want to say thank you um so much for being a part of this. Thank you for welcome. including us. It's, it's an honor. Definitely. <laughs> thank you a lot, guys. Thank you so much. Uh take care and uh we'll be in touch. Yeah, looking forward for this. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.